Hey guys, Brandon Adkins here, Senior Application Engineer with Hawkridge Systems, back with some more tips for your SolidWorks assemblies. When it comes to opening large assemblies, large design review is one of the best options to help your models open lightning fast and perform a few editing operations. Here we'll open our skateboard assembly, and if we decide we need to make some changes to our top level drawing, we can open quickly in detailing mode. It's easy enough to open directly from large design review into detailing mode for the drawing associated with that model. So if we forgot to add a couple of dimensions or maybe balloons, whatever annotations we need, detailing mode is a perfect option to limit the amount of time you need to open that large drawing. Let's hop back to the assembly here again. When I select components like this subassembly, I also have the option to open in different modes, like lightweight or resolved, depending on what fits your needs at that time. So here we open our skateboard truck, and we intend to add a new configuration to this model. So we're gonna set up a configuration with no wheels on the skate truck assembly. You'll notice as soon as I add the new configuration, a configuration table is generated, which we could access before, but is now automatically generated for you. We also have some handy options for sorting of information. Down in the bottom left corner of the table, you can see we have options to sort based upon components, features, custom properties, and a few others. So with the no wheels assembly, we're going to go ahead and add our wheel subassembly. You'll notice that we have columns where I can pick configurations of that component, suppress it, whatever we need at that time. We'll also go ahead and add some of the hardware like the hex nut that holds the wheel in place. And of course, we've also got our mirrored components that we used on the opposite side of the assembly. We'll go ahead and filter for features and components here so we can see those top level items that we need. We'll get those suppressed as needed. Now we can also add a column for custom properties. More specifically, we're going to add a new custom property to this table on the fly. Pretty easy to do so. So in this case, if I want to specify if I'm going to make or buy certain components within this assembly, based on the configuration, I can easily add those custom property tags here. Once we've finished configuring the items that we need from our table, we can head back to our configuration manager, switch in between the two, and make sure the changes are captured that we needed. Now let's say we need to configure other components outside of the table that we've just manipulated. Here we'll browse to another piece of hardware, configure that component, and we're brought to a separate table that manages just the component we're dealing with. However, when we head back to show the original table that was automatically generated, any manipulation we've done outside this table will have columns added for those components or features, whatever we've chosen to manipulate. So it makes it simple to capture all the information that you need in one place automatically. Let us know in the comments what features you'd like to see next. Like and subscribe for more tips.